Hello everyone. Our task for today is configuring multi-area OSPF V2. In this activity, you will configure multi-area OSPF V2. The network is already connected and interfaces are configured with IPv4 addressing. Your job is to enable multi-area OSPF V2, verify connectivity, and examine the operation of multi-area OSPF V2. Part 1. Configure OSPF V2. Step 1. Configure OSPF V2 on R1 with a process ID of 1 and a router ID of 1.1.1.1. Step 2. Advertise each directly connected network in OSPF V2 on R1. Step 3. Configure OSPF V2 on R2 and R3 using a router ID of 2.2.2.2 and 3.3.3.3, respectively.
Part 2. Verify and examine multi-area OSP FB2. Step 1. Verify connectivity to each of the OSP FB2 areas. Now, from R1, we ping each of the following remote devices in Area 0 and Area 2. So the pings are successful. Step 2. Use show commands to examine the current OSP FB2 operations. To configuring multi-area OSP FB2, firstly, we enabled the protocol using a process ID, then, assign the router to a router ID, finally, network address for particular areas, we can advertise one network in multi-area. Reflection Questions R2 is internal routers. R1, R2, and R3 are backbone routers because they are in area 0. R1 and R3 area border routers. None of the routers is autonomous system routers. Because all the interfaces on the routers connects to an OSP area, there is no external domain or internet. All of the routers generate type 1 LSA. The designated router are generating type 2 LSA. 
R1 and R3 are generating type 3 LSA, because they are area border routers. None of the routers generate type 4 and 5 LSA. R1 has two inter-area routes, R2 has four, and R3 has two. There would usually be an ASBR in this type of network, because ASBR connects to external routing domains. That's all. Thank you for watching.